What's happening guys? We're back with another video. So today's video is going to be about plumbing. I gotta make lines for basically all of that stuff over there, wherever it is right here. I need to make lines for the power steering pump. I need to make lines for the oil cooler and I need to make, figure out something for the radiator hoses. Obviously those have to be custom. But first I have to make a little bracket for the oil cooler. Show you guys that right now. So I used a, a zip tie and this clamp here to kind of feel out where I wanted it. I figured I'd just put it right here, use these two bottom mounting brackets, maybe even use this guy, maybe use this one up here, but I don't really need much. It's not, shouldn't move around too much. So a couple little flat bar off the bottom, maybe a flat bar off the top, and we'll be in business. So I'm gonna get going on that, mount that up. I got all the lines I'm gonna go get first thing in the morning so this video will have two days of work in it so I've got my CAD stuff out my cardboard aided design and I'm working on mocking up what I need to cut for the uh, little plates here this one's kind of nice because it'll be a corner piece so it'll have you know double the surface area of weld and then this one will just be like a support because once there's once there's one plate over here, I don't imagine it needing too much more, but we'll see how strong just two are, and I can figure out something else from there. So, time to start cutting some stuff. Maybe someday my welding will get good. Sure, I could have adjusted the settings and had it a little more dialed in, but I was like, ah, this spot nobody even sees. It's a drift car. Let's uh, let's just send it. So they're not beautiful, but I mean, they'll definitely hold. I feel like I say that about every single one of my welds, but yeah, makes a nice little, uh, Nice little stand for it. Touches a little bit right there. I might just shave it down a smidge. And this is all connected to this front end core support, whatever you want to call that. So the whole thing will still come out together. I am definitely a lot happier with how these came out. These welds actually don't look too bad. There we go. Not too bad. I might cut them down a little bit just to keep the radiator from getting too close to it. And then I'm gonna layer another piece over it that goes onto the radiator and bolt through it because if I just welded these right to the radiator, you would never really be able to get it out except for taking off this front bar, but no, I wouldn't wanna have to do all that. I'm just gonna try to put like two through bolts right there and then couple more pieces of flat and we'll be good to go so that's how this is gonna be held on there I'm gonna drill a couple holes through there and then I'll probably circle these up with the grinder just to make them look a little nicer and then use a couple through bolts on here I would like to get some rubber grommets for the top so that this doesn't have to have this aluminum on aluminum like this that's why I drilled the holes a little bigger but I'll have to drill them a lot bigger if I'm going to do some grommets but I think I got an idea for that that's all done with just got to uh put the nut certs in all the way but looks good once I round these off all around and the lower parts it's going to look more like it belongs there it's a little out of place right now a little ugly but Maybe paint them black or something. Paint this stuff blue, match it all up. And the radiator is still removable. So it's so another completed job off the list. 
grinded them down, cleaned up the edges a little bit. They look a lot better. And now into paint. They're gonna be black when they come out. Toss some paint on everything and it's starting to look really good. Once I put some rubber there, it'll be a lot better, but I really like how the cooler sits and everything. And even when I wanna put a power steering cooler, I could put the exact one right there and just mimic it. I'm not gonna put a power steering cooler yet just cause I don't know if it'll need it, but it's really starting to look great. All right guys, back again, same video, different day. Work boots on, PFI speed shirt on. I'm gonna tear into this car a little bit more just because uh, that video wasn't quite enough meme potatoes to post for my liking. So I'm gonna try to get a little more accomplished on it. I got all these here fittings and hoses and lines and oil filter and all that kind of junk. I am going to put it onto that junk. It's gonna happen. So first things first, I gotta switch the jack stands around. I got the taller ones. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. There we go. I got the taller ones in the back and I'm gonna put the taller ones in the front so that I can slide under it a little easier because not quite as slim as I used to be, but working on that as well. So here we go. So I wanted to put this oil filter right there, like on the frame rail, but it was a little too tight. So I used this piece of metal to space it off a little bit. And then I'm just gonna weld that to it. It'll make it easier because drilling in that little area would have been tough. And I'm using a couple bolts and you know it, some nut certs. So I'm gonna weld this up, clean it up a little bit and then weld it right into there. To the welding table. Well, laid down quite a bead there. Yeah, that's that's some impressive stuff, if I must say so. <laughs> but like all the other welds I've put on this thing, it'll hold and that one's not really visible. The more visible ones I'll work on, make a little nicer. Oil filter should be ready to go right in and then I can start making some lines. Put my power steering pump back in so I know we're gonna go around it on which side, put the radiator back in. Now that I have everything cut and welded that needs to be welded, tilt the engine to its normal spot. I might grab like a bungee cord or something to just hold it down. The routing on the power steering pump is done. It's definitely a little close to the header, but nothing crazy. OEM power steering stuff goes pretty close to the header too. But I got it as tucked as I really could without doing the routing all crazy and adding a bunch of line to it for no reason. I wanted to keep the lines as short as possible to eliminate lag, because the longer the lines you have, the more lag you're gonna have in the pump. So I just decided to cut them short and then I needed to order a couple fittings for my oil filter to get to the uh, oil cooler here and then back into the pan, because it has to kind of go in like a, you know, has to go through all of them. But that's how it's all gonna be. It's not too bad. I, I'll probably wrap it with some kind of heat wrap or something just to help. Well, that'll do it for today's video. I got some good amount of fab work done. I got a lot of things figured out. I got a lot of parts ordered. Definitely didn't seem like it was a long video, but 
I realistically did a ton of little miscellaneous fab work. You wouldn't realize how long that stuff takes, like just cutting little brackets and welding stuff up, making sure everything fits, like grinding stuff. It just, it's, it's very time consuming. Had to go to the parts store today. All that kind of uh, puts a good damper on today, but I'm gonna get cleaned up. I'm going to the racetrack and I'm gonna see what the wagon can do. So, so look forward to that in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.